morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Jen, one of the preschool teachers at College Heights, and I'm so excited to be with you this morning because we're going to talk about Jesus and how he healed some people. So before we get started, let's pray. God, thank you for this day. Thank you for all my friends who are here with me today. God, help us to know that you alone are good. Help us to listen to our Bible story as we should. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I have my favorite book with me. What is that book? That's right. It's the Bible. And all the stories in the Bible are true. All of the words are true, and they're all about God. But the story today is also about Jesus healing a woman and a little girl. So let's get started. Jesus had just got out of a boat, and a crowd of people were already waiting for him because the people had heard about Jesus' teachings and about God and how Jesus healed people. Jairus approached Jesus and he said, my daughter is very sick. Come and touch her so that she can be well and live. So Jesus went with Jairus and as they went, the crowd followed. A woman in the crowd was sick, and she came up behind Jesus and touched his robe. Jesus stopped. Who touched my clothes? Jesus asked. And the woman told him what she had done. And Jesus said, you are now well because you believed that I could heal you, Jesus said. Just then, a messenger came and told that Jairus' daughter had just died. Jesus said to Jairus, do not be afraid, only believe. So they continued and they went to Jairus' house. And Jesus took a couple of friends with him, the little girl's mother and Jairus. And Jesus walked over to the little girl and touched her hand. And the little girl got up. She got up and walked around. She was alive again. So, what do we know about God? Ready? Get your hands ready. What do we know about God? God sent Jesus to help us. And what do we know about Jesus? Get your hands ready. What do we know about Jesus? Jesus shows us he is God's son by healing people and giving dead people life. Oh, boys and girls, that was an amazing story. I miss you so much and can't wait to see you again. Bye. He took on the pain that should have been ours. He was punished to make us whole again. His wounds have healed us. Isaiah 53, 4 and 5. He took on the pain that should have been ours. He was punished to make us whole again. His wounds have healed us. Isaiah 53, 4 and 5.
Grab your instruments and get ready to sing the B I B L E. Are you guys ready? Yeah. First, let's sing it loud and then quiet. And fast. Oh, are, you ready? Oh, are you ready? Yes. Here we go. College Heights kids. My name is Miss Donna and this is Colin and Bentley. We miss you so much. Today we wanted to sing a song with you. Please join us and sing Jesus Loves Me. Are you boys ready? Uh -huh. Yes. yes. Jesus yes. loves me this I know for the Bible tells me so, little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes. Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Great job, guys. We love you. We'll see you next time. Bye. Goodbye. Hi, CH Kids, families, and toddlers. My name is Miss Renee, and in our Bible lesson today, Jesus healed a woman who was very sick, and Jesus made Jairus' dead daughter all better. Now, both Jairus and the woman who was sick came to Jesus because they knew that Jesus has the power of God to make them better. Now, I have a question for you. When you are sick or have an owie, who do you ask for help? I bet they love you very much. And when you tell them that you're sick or something hurts, well, they do whatever they can to help make it better, right? Well, sometimes they might give you medicine or, well, they might even give you a Band-Aid to put on it. They might sit with you while you rest. There's lots of things we can do to help people who are sick. Well, Jesus made the woman who was sick and the daughter who was dead all better. Jesus made those people better because he wanted people to know about God's power to make people better and how God loves everyone. Do you know, it's good for us to remember that Jesus has the power of God to heal people and that Jesus and God love everyone. In fact, here's how you can remember this. Go ask a big person to help you get a Band-Aid and put it on, and then they can draw a heart on it. The heart reminds us that God and Jesus love everyone, and the Band-Aid reminds us that God has the power to heal. So when you look at the Band-Aid, remember, God has the power to heal, and God and Jesus, they love everyone, right? Good to see you guys. See you next time.